Good morning. Um, today we're going to make an experimental meatloaf that I kind of envisioned in my head. I went online to see if I could find something similar. I didn't. So today's an experiment all the way around. Got ground beef. Got ground chicken. That's a full pound. And I got ground Italian sausage. That's a full pound. I'm going to finish the last of our breadcrumbs. An egg in each hand. Yay! So I've been uh, preparing, taking food out of the packaging, preparing like dinner size portions. And then I put whatever single portions into a larger bag. So then it goes in the freezer. So we're going to separate out like three smaller hamburgers to use for something, maybe Phoenix dinner. Freezer. All right. Got to start from this knife, really. Right. I'm just going to pre saute my uh, raw veggies. I want to throw a can of olives in here, black olives, because I really, really like them. I really want to use some red beans. Let's start with a same thing. I'm draining the juice out of the red beans. Oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. I just don't like the skinny neck. It's hard to get it out. Alright, we'll go with about that much. That's probably two and a half to three tablespoons. I do like cooking with yellow mustard. So I'll add a little bit of yellow mustard in there. A tablespoon and a half. Two tablespoons. I'm right, just waiting for the onions to finish sauteing. I'm going to put in about Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. There's plenty of salt coming in through the this black pepper. There's plenty of uh, salt coming in through the beans and through the oyster sauce. So I'm not going to add any salt, particularly because you know we're all on low sodium diets, right? We will add a little bit of cayenne pepper to it also. I wish I could tell you how this smells. Onion and jalapeno sauteed lately with some olive oil. Let that cool just a bit. We'll cool these off some a little bit. Let's add them. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Oh, that's Interesting feeling. I should start it with a bigger bowl. Um. This one's going to be for today. The rest goes in the freezer. Got the three chicken thighs. Got the, some uh, brat, beer brats. And here's that uh, experimental meatloaf. It's um, not the consistency I really like, but I think it's going to work. We'll find out. Temperature set for smoke, 185 degrees. 